So it's Lyme Disease Awareness Month, and it's also the 10th anniversary of the premiere of Under Our Skin at the Tribeca Film Festival, which also was in May. Since Under Our Skin came out 10 years ago, in what ways would you say that the landscape of Lyme disease has changed? Well, you know, Under Our Skin was really pivotal in terms of cracking open public awareness about Lyme disease. It played such a phenomenal role in doing it. It just, it started to crack that egg open so that people could see what was going on. And it became not only, you know, did it have its theatrical airings and its television airing, but it also became one of those things where people were taking it to their support groups and gathering people around to watch it. And then they were taking it to their doctors, and then they were taking it to researchers, and then they were taking it to legislators. So it ended up having this really profound effect, and people are still doing that today with it. You know, I hear of people saying, oh, yeah, I gave it to my legislator when I went to visit him. So I think, you know, that's one, one thing that happened there was that there was this initial understanding that there was a crisis and that it was an important uh, crisis for people to attend to in a way that hadn't been as public before. Great. That's really good to hear. We had a, um, a, a comment on Facebook the other day. Someone said, this film is 10 years old. It's irrelevant. <laughs> and let's just move That's just on. That's shocking to me because it's, it's like, uh, you know, it's pivotal. It's been pivotal in everything that's happened. You know, if we didn't have that big push that came from that, I, you know, it's just, uh, I think it's transformed the landscape. You know, so much actually has happened, and you guys were really instrumental in making it happen.